Hey, what's up? So, uh, I've just joined a server, kind of, that I used to play on like, quite a bit back then. And one of the main points of your server is trying to keep it, uh, or your base is trying to keep it safe and secure from anybody else. You have to have a spot where they are away and in, into your base so that someone can raid it, but basically most people prevent other people from getting inside the base with locks and this is what I'm showing you a combination lock which I use quite a bit and this lock is actually I'm making a little downscale like right now we only have four buttons running through it but you can have loads of buttons so what I'm doing right now is basically having uh, each signal from each of the buttons run out into uh, kind of uh, four four columns basically where we're going to be putting redstone torches on and see this is the this is buttons right here so you want to do your combination backwards so I'm going to do combination my combination backwards right now and then you don't put a torch on each light that you're pressing see I'm putting a three on the other one and press my last button see there and then this last button I'm pressing is actually going to be the first button my thing so I put torches on the other ones and then you build down from where there's no torch. So you build one down, then you build one down here, and then right there you gotta build one down. And you keep doing that. Yeah, right there. So yeah, and then you just pull them out this way, and then you pull them out and build them up one. Oh, messed up there. And you can destroy those right there. Just pull them out, wanna pull them out quite a bit here. Just for enough room. And then you can string the redstone along down here. Get down in there, and string them along. Yeah, just bring it back up. So you want to get all of them, and you want to make sure that all of them are on. Basically, all redstone should be on. Oh, wait, made a mistake here. And also, um, from where you put a block under, you want everything else lower than that block that you placed under the one with no torch. Just keep running through. Like that. You run it up. This is actually a lot simpler than uh, <laughs> it might look. So yeah, yeah, uh, bring it out. And then right here, we're gonna be uh, putting basically redstone repeaters. And I don't know exactly how far away, so we're gonna experiment here. So there might be a few mistakes in here, but it's okay. And you wanna build it up one, and put a redstone torch, and then continue out. you continue out to on this one and then I'll put a resonant torch on the end I'm running into a repeater and then coming up into a block where there's gonna be a thing of redstone there's a torch around that but then there's the thing of redstone right there and we have another torch up oh, right there yeah running out into that redstone and now we're gonna make a zigzag pattern going down <laughs> yeah I'm doing this really out of order right now but um, don't worry, it'll, it'll come out the way it's supposed to. So basically we're making a zigzag pattern, we're just creating the exact same thing. So we're just gonna build over and then we're gonna end up, oh, we don't need it there. We're gonna put uh, redstone repeaters there and basically make those exact same pillars on the end over here. Now this is um, taken from CNB Minecraft's uh, combination lock. It's very similar and I think it's really actually still compact too today and does the job really well. I mean, you definitely could make it a little bit more compact, but it does a pretty well, a uh, pretty good job. Um, resources and stuff. So I'm just gonna put torches on each side of this. And then we're gonna go below and basically have the torch run out here. So while I'm doing this, I'll explain uh, what's going on. When you get the, your first one right, it's gonna light up the redstone on my left right now. And that redstone, when it's lit up, is gonna basically go through and basically go through uh, a gate which kind of is just more of a latch than a gate and the latch basically puts the state onto on which turns off that redstone torch off that I'm uh, putting a uh, redstone so it turns the torch off and so that's gonna make that repeater go off and then that redstone go off and allow you to actually when you hit the right button for the next combination um, it's gonna actually allow the redstone torch on the other side to turn on and then run through. So by, it's kind of how a combination lo uh, lock would seem to work. Like, if you get the first one right, it's gonna allow you to enter in the right one for the second one. But if you get it wrong, it resets all of it. It's, in a way, this is how it's done. 
Is that we're gonna do it again? Oh, you don't want it to connect there, so we're gonna put a block above. So basically run the redstone out with a repeater and then go up one block onto redstone. You want it right next to every single torch to the right of the next one. So that's the basis of it right there. And But now we have to get it so that it resets if you get it wrong. So we're going to make the resets. And the reason we didn't place torches in the beginning on that, uh, on the combination or the right um, buttons is because uh, we want it so that it doesn't activate this part which is going to reset it. So. If you get uh, the wrong number for like the wrong uh, part or combination, then it's actually going to send a signal up here and reset it. So I'm just going to have to continue out and uh, just go straight. Oh wait, no, actually, I'm not going to do that because there's a torch right there and there's other torches, so let's run it a little farther back. Right about here is good. So just bring it up. And we're almost done here. Just run that up, up, and then run it right up and over. And this is actually essentially it. So uh, we'll test it. So remember the combination you originally put in backwards when starting it. So we're gonna have to now do the combination forwards. Oh yeah, and actually I'm gonna build this out first. And so you can have this part right here running into um, a door of any kind, really. And we'll just, uh, wait, I'm so bad at, wait, how do you, <laughs> uh, I'm going to mess up here. I can't even remember how to make a simple door. Oh yeah, going down, yeah, yeah. Going down, have a redstone torch coming off that, and a block right above, and two pistons. Yeah, so you can put blocks on the end, and then have redstone running right into that. So yeah, you can have a door like this, Mystic essentially. So I'm going to put it in the right way, and you can see it's going to light up each one, so it lights up the last one. So this is our combination backwards right now. Lights up the last one right there. And then we're gonna go, so that's the last one, second to last, third to last, and you see the uh, repeaters in the back turning off, and there's the last one. And so that's our combination backwards, so now we're gonna go forwards, turn that on, that on, that on, and that on. See, that is the right combination, and it turns the pistons off. And now you can just reset it by hitting the wrong button. So, see, as you can see, um, we'll go a little farther into the combinations to so go the three buttons in, three correct buttons in, and then we'll mess up. And you'll see. See, it's on the third one, see, the third line is on, and then when we hit the wrong button, it turns off. Yeah, so that's uh, the basis of it. It's a little more complicated and convoluted than I may have made it out, but it's not that bad, redstone. It's not as big. So, um, yeah. Hope you liked it, because uh, it's pretty, pretty cool, and good luck.